Okay, now we're going to first um, we're going to build the OpenStreetMap thing, and to do that we're going to install the JDK first. Um, default JDK. I don't really want to install the default JDK. I want to have the Open JDK. It's already installed. There it is. We're going to install this one, which is already installed. Just to show you. So that worked. Then we're going to upgrade the. Um, oh, ah. You don't want to run that in the trunk directory. I've already checked it out. So let's go back to this directory. I'm checking out into the directory trunk. So it's going to um, just make sure that we're up to date. This OpenStreetMap stores its data in so, uh, subversion, SVN. So I say SVN checkout, blah, 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 trunk. So let's go into the trunk directory. Now we can say, after we've installed the JDK, we just say ant, which will build the latest version. It's going to build the jar file. I'm showing you this from the scratch. So then after we build the jar file, we just say Java, jar, and then this one. Okay. So now we're going to start the jar. The jar. So there we go. Now we're going to open download from OSM. Place is going to be Pristina. Pristina. There we go. Now this might take a while. Okay. Now it's going to download the data points, which I don't necessarily need. But I'm going to show you some stuff. A lot of you, um, a lot of people have asked me, well, how do I use this? So I'm going to show them how to use it. Okay, so I'm going to go into my... The th important thing about this is to focus on a section and not try and do the whole thing. So this is my turf here. This area I've been working on. So this is the... Um, let's see, this is our GPS layer. We're going to hide that. This is our data layer of the streets that are there. So this is the memorial for... Um, this is the fence around the memorial from um, Rogova. So um, it's the combatant's grave, the Varizat Edishamorov. So we can add it in English. Now I've just been um, doing freestyle things like name en, which is the com bat tense grave. But combatants is bad. It's well, it is combatants. That's the name that I've got here from a flyer. Okay, but it could also be the Veterans Memorial would be a more fitting name, so we'll just add another name in. Let's see if we can add two. Veterans Memorial. I just replaced it. Okay, well that's fine. That's a better name. So that's the Veterans Memorial. Now this street here is listed on one map as Isa Castrati. And on the other map, it's listed as Robert Jadiku. So we're going to add in an extra name. We're going to add in name SQ, or just say name 2, or name Alt. Because the, all these streets have like five names. Um, Robert Jadiku. Okay, and um, this street here I don't have a name for it. Let me look at some. I might have a name for it. This could be um, let's see one way 
Satori. So let's just go over some basics here. Um, here, one tutorial. I added that before. Okay, so if that's one tutorial, this doesn't have a name, um, but this street here. So this is the thing is that I think that this is missing. I, I think that if this is one tutorial, then it should continue through to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a segment from here to here. So let's try that. I'm going to say from here to here as a segment. And then how do we end it? Finish. There we go. So we just clicked on the little endpoint again to finish it. Now we'll go back to this point. And we're going to just continue this name. So we say edit, control C to copy that, go to here. Oh, we've already added that. So we're just going to control to zoom out. That looks like that street. So we're just going to um, add in that name there. Actually, I've been on the street, so I'm allowed to do this, add name sorry there we go so now we've got that coming through here so <coughs> I showed you how to um, now with this street we can then try and name it um, it comes through so the first one that comes through it, well there's lots of streets that are coming through here so this is the problem but this street we don't have a name for I think this is Edmund Hoja. So we're just going to name it and we can always change it later. Um, Airmont. Ho Hoja. So, and then I can also set my preferences, show my. OSM data. Where is it? There. Username OSM password, right? Oh, keep backup files. Let's do that. So I've set my OSM password and data, and then I can just say here, upload to OSM. It tells me my changes. Added names for video. Upload. Okay, and then I can double check that. Um, and open street map. <coughs> and I can go to my changes. Well, I should be able to see them here. That's this area right there. I was just working on. Um, and we should have changed it. So let's look. If we go into this view, we should be able to see that it's been changed. See, now it's been changed. Ha ha ha. So isn't that nice? Now I can also edit with this uh, tool here, and we'll talk about that in the next video. Okay, let's um, stop the video.